Hi, and welcome to today's video. My name is Joshua, and today we're going to talk about maybe the most useful component that the payload package itself offers uh, in order for us to create custom components and make them really useful. And that's the drawer. Um, I'm going to show you, because what a drawer allows us is at any point within our custom components, um, for one, to display this drawer component with any content we desire. And the even more important part, and that's where the magic happens, is the document drawer. And the document drawer allows us to specify any collection that's registered in the payload config and create new instances of that collection um, from anywhere we want. So here I have the, this media collection and I can select a file and a text and create new instances. And what's also extremely useful is if I specify an ID for the draw, then we can also edit existing instances. So if you imagine you have like a dashboard here and you display some in, uh, a list of media or users and so on, and you can allow then the user to create instances of these objects right here and then with the draw component. Okay, so let's see how it's done. Mm, uh, short, this is where we're going to start from uh, in this video. If you're doing the first video of the series where we uh, create a custom dashboard and the basic layout, uh, you can pretty much jump right in from there. I also already imported the button component. So let's see what we need to import in order for the drawer to work. So first of all, we need to import um, the drawer toggle, toggler. This allows us to um, define a button that opens a drawer and we need to import the drawer. So important now, this component itself lives deep in the bowels of the payload project. So we cannot just import it from, import it from payload components um, slash layouts. We need to import it from uh, payload dist admin um, components, then element drawer. So that's where that package lives. And each drawer, we need to define that now, has its own slug with which we can identify that drawer. So in this case, we're going to define, define a const slug, um, modal or drawer slug equals drawer slug. You can pretty much put in anything there you like as long as it's unique. And then we are already ready to go. So let's now define the drawer that we want to show. Drawer, that's, we simply instantiate a drawer. Then we give it the slug, slug equals draw slug. And in here we can then display our content. For example, let's put in a header, header, and some p tags or a p tag text with important content. We save all of this and reload our page. And we still forgot <laughs> the draw toggle. So let's also put in the draw toggle. Draw toggler, uh, the draw toggler. I have to get used to draw toggler. What a funny name. So here we have uh, draw toggler slug equals draw slug. And yeah, that's it for now. Yeah, uh, we need to redefine some content. Open, open, custom drawer. Okay, let's see what this displays. Open custom drawer. Okay, here we have our content. As you may notice, um, this button is not in the payload style and it's always shown by default. I, this behaves different than uh, the drawer uh, the drawer toggler I'm going to show you in a few minutes for the document drawer. But we can uh, pass on class names you want, class name equals, and then what we can do is put in the payload default classes. So btn, btn, uh, if you want a secondary style button, style secondary and btn, btn size small. So if we put this in and reload our page, 
And we're going to wait a second. And then it, this button looks now like the default payload button. Wait a minute, let's see if the size, ETN size, ah, we're missing a dash. So this should now display with the correct size. Yes, perfect. Okay, now, what if we want to create a drawer that instantiates um, objects of a collection? That's also very easy. We import the drawer, uh, the second, the document drawer, document drawer toggler and the document drawer from payload dist admin components elements document draw perfect and we pretty much do the same thing so let's define a slug drawer slug um, media because we're going to use the media component define a slug then what we're going to do is to define our document draw document document draw with our slug let's see if i have noted down anything else we need to do ah yes um, and now also important, let's close that tag. We need to define a collection. Collection, no, just collection. And collection is media. Uh, yes, this should do it for now. And now we can do the document toggle, <laughs> document drawer toggler. Document drawer toggler. We don't need a class name for this. Um, slug, the same slug as the document. Draw, draw, mm, let's just copy it. Slug. And, oh, no, it's, yes. It's drawer slug, drawer slug, and collection. Collection slug. The collection slug is again media. Okay. So uh, the document draw toggler does not display anything by default. So what we can do here is to instantiate the button with the uh, style classes we have from payload. So size equals small and button style equals secondary. What we can also do in this button, so there's some uh, margin between them, style equals, and then margin right equals one rem. So let's see what this displays. We reload our page, and then we have the open media drawer, and nothing happens. Is there a, oh, wait a second, what is going on here? Open media drawer. Okay, I found a mistake. It's just as we have to call in the document drawer all the slugs, drawer slug and collection slug in also both in the document drawer and in the document drawer toggler. And if we configured that and we look at the um, result, Wait a second, I'm going to shrink down the window. Then we get this media slug, uh, this media drawer. Okay, now we can also edit media, uh, instances of media. For that, we're just going to copy all of this um, down here and define a new slug. So media, let's just say edit, uh, draw slug media edit and the thing is we need to define a new document drawer for every single media we are going to we want to edit so if we have a list we have to include the document drawer in um, like as many times with the correct id um, as we want to, uh, as we have instances of that object that we want to edit um, okay so what i'm going to do now is because in this example, I'm going to hard code it. We're just going to go into um, the media item. We're going to copy this ID. And then we're going to specify in the document drawer an ID. 
And then we have to update the slugs. Draw media slug, draw, and open media drawer, edit. And let's see now what happens. So if we reload, we should get a third button. Open media drawer, edit, and you see it loaded in the correct information. And if we now edit this and save it, then we get the feedback and we go into media and you can see this was updated. Another important thing is we get uh, a callback and the callback works as follows. Uh, we have in this ID, you can also have an on save equals um, and then new, I like, uh, let's name this media console.log media, oh, we're missing curly braces. And now we get the save event. So if we need to update a list, uh, we then get notified, ooh, there is something new, there happened something, we can update the list, reload the data, and we know what to display to the user. So let's go in here, open the drawer media, let's edit this with something, does not really matter. Oh, where's the save button? Ah, here. <laughs> Save, update it. Wait a second, why is this not shown? Okay, I simply had to reload the, uh, the browser window. If I now save this and add something, save, you now see there is uh, this object with doc, um, the operation and the new information. So that's it for today's video. I hope this is useful for you. It was very useful to us and see you the next time.